I oh. would let Ronda Rousey go all out heel on that fan base, bro. Oh. All out. You, it stinks in here. You people stink. Do you oh. not bathe? you re- let her go all out on that, that niche audience, bro. Oh. Uh, so Ronda Rousey is another person that's had a one-time uh, appearance to, with Ring of Honor. There was, she was working for a company that was using uh, some AEW stars, and then basically, from from what I've heard, and so they they kind of like a trade off for like a an, an event, a piece, and then she went to a ROH, you know, thing, and I think she uh, wrestled again. And so if they were to bring her in full time, what do you think Tony Khan does with her? See, bro, if that's me and, and Tony Khan won't won't do this, bro, because the dude is such a mark himself. Mm. What I would do, bro, is they don't like Ronda Rousey. I oh. would let Ronda Rousey go all out heel on that fan base, bro. Oh. All out out you it stinks in here you people stink do you not bathe you re- let her go all out on that that niche audience bro no, but no. bro i'm telling you tony khan won't allow that because he would actually feel like they're they're insulting she's insulting the crowd no. i would let ronda rousey bro listen i think ronda has some negative feelings inside of her about the pro wrestling business Mm -hmm. let it out man just just let it let her go to town she would be phenomenal bro she would get so much heat she could hurt everybody on the roster he'd never go for anything like that bro Mm -hmm. yeah i just really hope that the thing is with rousey man just her mic work is just so subpar because she's not comfortable yeah, I think she needs. Bro. Yeah, I think that she needs to really work on her confidence. And I, I do. I will say this, Vince. I do think this, this indie type of journey that she's doing, like uh, kind of getting back to, you know, the roots and and going through, you know, the indie route instead of basically being handed opportunities. You know, uh, her, her debut match being at WrestleMania with Kurt Angle, you know, against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. I mean. It's difficult to really appreciate the business if already you're mm-hmm. being handed that opportunity, you know. And so the fans eventually saw that because she was super over in the beginning. And then that was just kind of like the perception that she got from these these fans nowadays. You know, I mean, yeah. you, you got to be you got to get through the indies. You got to you got to yeah. tough it out. You got to you got to go through, you know, the, the indie path. You know, what I mean, so you got to do that. And. And because Ronda Rousey didn't do that, yep. you know, the fans just turned on her. Yep. And so I think what you do is you just use that as, you know, uh, an ability to really push her. And I would have AEW camera people go around and then her just started to obliterate people from the indies. Like, I mean, like, if okay, well, if you really want me to go through this, yeah, okay, I, like I bet you I do. And you yep. see, just starts submission and submitting people in just some local indie, uh, indie yep. spot, and AW cameras just go around and yep. ROH cameras just go around and have her do that. So, I love that too. Yep. All right. This guy right here is Vince Russo. I'm Dr. Chris. This is Writing with Russo. Have a good night, buddy. Solo.